Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new uh, social study lesson. Please get your Our Community and Beyond uh, book ready and let's get started. All right, we'll start with page 48, fiction and nonfiction. But before we start, let's review our uh, previous lesson. Remember we talked about fable and we know that uh, the story about the wind and the sun and we, le we learned that fables often use animals or other things that talk and act like people. And usually there's a lesson or a moral or message that you need to understand from this uh, story or this fable. Today we'll be talking about fiction and nonfiction. And I know you know about them from our English. Uh, so let's start, page 48, please. <clears throat> the tall tale and fable you just read are fiction. Fiction is something that is not true. So fiction, the highlighted word, this is the meaning of the word, that it's a story, but it's not true. Not everything you read is fiction, of course. Some stories are nonfiction. Nonfiction tells about something that is true. Is this article below fiction or nonfiction? So now they introduce and define for you the word fiction and nonfiction. And they tell you that fiction is something that is not true. Like the story we read about fable about the wind and the sun or about even the tall, uh, tall tale about uh, the ox and Paul, babe the ox and Paul. Remember, he was a lumberjack, but it was exaggerating and telling details that it's not true. And then they said here, some stories are nonfiction. So nonfiction tells about a real thing. So this article we're gonna read, it's gonna help you to decide if this is fiction or nonfiction, if you know the meaning for the two words. So let's start. When I grow up, Abby lives in sunny California. When Abby grows up, grows up, she wants to be a meteorologist. A meteorologist reports the weather. Abby likes sunny days because she can go to the beach. On rainy days, she likes to look for rainbows. The only <clears throat> All right, yeah. The only kind of weather Abby doesn't like is the Santa Ana winds. All right. So from this small article. Do you think it's fiction or nonfiction? Is it true or not true? Very good, it's nonfiction because all the information is right and they give us information about the, the, um, the weather over there in California, which is true. And a child living in, San, in sunny California wanted to be a meteorologist when she grew older. So this is, um, exactly true so this is nonfiction. okay let's go for next page page 49 with many historical stories some of what we read is facts and some is fiction in lesson one if you remember you learned that a fact is something that is true and not made up in this lesson you read story that are fiction or not true. So remember, when we talk about facts, it's something really happened. And we learned this from the beginning when we were talking about um, changes over time or people in the old days, how they used to live, the lifestyle look like, their houses. And also we learn and talk about schools and how it looked like. We learn about community before and then. And we talked about special holidays and we talked about American heroes. So. But again, we talked about nonfiction, such as the tall tale, like here, the story, this will remind you with um, Fable, Paul and his ox, uh, Babe. So this is a little exercise, we'll, we'll do it together. Read the sentence below, circle fact or fiction for each sentence. So you know now, fact means true, fiction means not true. So when you, we read the stories and let's see if it's fact or fiction. Number one, people can be more than 50 feet tall. Before you start, if you need to just keep your eyes on this box, fact means true, fictions mean not true. So people can be more than 50, 50 feet tall. You think this is fact or fiction? True or not true? Very good. Not true, so fiction. So let's choose uh, 
fiction. So you need to circle that it's not true. People is not that tall. All right. Number two, the sun and the wind can talk. Remember the story about the wind and the sun? They were like fighting. Who's stronger? So the sun and the wind can talk. Is it fact or fiction? Means not true. Very good. Fiction means not true. So you're going to circle this choice. Number three, a meteorologist reports the weather. So if you want to work with weather, you're going to be a meteorologist. And that's where people can predict the weather and report the weather. You think this is fact or fiction? Is it true or not true? Very good. If you choose fact, you're absolutely right. It is fact. Very good. All right. Let's go back to our essential question here. Why do we read stories? If you remember the beginning of the of uh, lesson three, your uh, essential question was, why do we read stories on page 40? And then we start with a tall tale and Paul, uh, Paul and the ox babe, and then the wind and the sun. So that was your essential question. And remember, we always answer the question after we finish that chapter or the lesson, because this is when you get your information. So now, if I ask you this question, why do we read stories? So why do you think we read stories? I will say we read stories because what do we learn from story? It helps us to understand Remember why we, why we read the story about the wind and the sun? To learn how to fight? To learn who is stronger? To think that the sun and the wind can talk? No, it's because help us understand moral lessons about our lives. So, it helps us to understand stories and um, understand also how things go because sometimes not everything works the same you think so we read stories because they help us understand moral lesson about our oops, lives because for example from this story we learned that you need to be kind you don't need to be harsh we need to we don't you don't need to fight if you have a point of view or an idea you want to prove it you can just simply prove it nicely you don't need to be using bad words or strong um a strong character or strong feelings no you need to be kind and respect others so this is a moral from the lesson we learn from the story for example in our chapter the wind and the sun so we read stories because they help us understand moral lessons about our lives And over here, you have question number one, we chose fiction. Question number two, the sun and the wind can talk. It was fiction, means not true. And then question number three, a meteorologist reports the weather. Yes, it's fact. We learned that fact means true and fiction means not true. Okay. Let's go for the next page. So now we, we were able to answer the um, essential question. All right. Page 50 is a very fun activity. You will do it on your own. It's fun. It's crossword using the word bank. So these are the words that you're going to use it. History, community, timeline, character, fact, fiction and holidays. So these are the words that you're gonna use to fill the gaps over here. So use the words in the box to complete the puzzle. All right, across. 
So this is a cross, something that is not true. So this is what you're gonna choose from. Something that is not true, very good, fiction. So you're gonna start from here and you're gonna write fiction. I might do the first one, so you will, you will, uh, you know how to fill it. So, um, I'm not sure if I can do it or not because, okay, I'll try to write. So over here, you need to fill this part. No, it's not going to work. So let me, okay. So fiction, you're going to write if here. So you're going to write in the first box, if, the second box, I, the third box, C, the fourth box, T, then I, O, N. So this is the word. You're writing like this. That's called across. Down means from up to down. As you see down, there's no one. So you're gonna go right away for number two. When people show honestly, responsibility or courage, they show this. Character. So the C will be written for you here because if you put the word fiction, the third letter will be C. So C is written for you. You're going to write H, A, R, A, C, T, E, R. So this is how you fill it. Okay. So all the words are written for you in the word bank. You just need to choose the right word and you need to follow direction. If it's across, that's mean you're writing like that. If it's down, means you're starting from up to down and you have to see the number. Number two means you're starting from number two. Next, for down, for example, number four, that's mean you're going for number four and you're writing from up to down. Number five, you go for number five and write from up to down. And across means um, horizontal. So from one, you finish here. Three, from three, you continue to the end. Six, you look for number six and you write all the way. You go for number seven, you start from the number seven and finish all the way. And the word you choose from here and you put each letter in every box. So you don't put the whole word, you put first letter, then the second letter, then the third letter, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth, seventh, and eighth. And that's how you know that you're doing the right, you choose the right word because your word should fill the empty boxes, either um, across or down. Okay. Let's um, revise quickly the um, uh, this. Uh, let's revise quickly this uh, unit. Remember the first uh, two pages, page six and page seven. If you go all the way, we have the foldables, and we have some uh, words that are written and questioned that we said this is we're going to do it at the end. This is the one I'm talking about. Words to know. These are the word. These are the words that you learn this uh, unit history, fact, holidays, culture, character, and fiction. Now you will do this activity. This is fun activity, the foldable activity. So what do you do here? Can you name it's important per this important person? Write his name on the line below. So this is the name that you're gonna write here. History is the story of people and event from other time. So over here, you're gonna write the name. Number two, for example, circle the fact below. Polar bears are tiny, farmers grow oranges, it's always rainy in Alaska. So one of them is true, so you need to circle the right answer. Number three, what's your favorite holiday? Write about it below. So you're gonna write about it here. And over here, they tell you what this means. A holiday is a day when we remember and honor a special event or person. Remember, this is all what we cover in, in, in this unit. Culture. is the way a group of people live. It's made up of their, of their special food, music, and art. And then they explain to you, many people eat food from different cultures. Write about a special day you eat or a special food you eat. 
Then character is used to describe someone who is honest, brave, or responsible. Then draw a picture of someone who shows good character. And then we have fiction is something that is not true. Write another example of fiction of that blank line. People can fly. So for example, people can fly birds, money grows on trees. So which one is not true? You're gonna write it and choose over here on the line. Okay. And then after that, you will cut. You will see here, do not fold, mean this is will remain straight. You see this one fold here, that dotted line, the red one, that's mean you fold here. And then this is when you cut all the way till that dotted line. This should be a fun activity. Uh, so take your time and finish this activity. All right. You don't need to upload it for me. It's just some activity that, um, you know, remind you with what you cover in the beginning of uh, your lesson. Okay, so for this unit, let's just go through what we covered this, this first unit. We talked about primary sources, and then we say primary sources are written or made by someone who saw an event happen. So they teach us about people, places, and events that you did not live in this uh, part of the world or you did not live at this time, but these primary sources it's like could be a story written or article or books or places you go and visit or something made up that teach you about this part of the world. We talked about changes over time and how people used to live and how the lifestyle family lived then and then and before schools look like what in the old days and nowadays uh, how the country we talked also about uh, timelines so we show this one like timeline shows an order of events so things happen in order in a special event and we read about the example of jack we also learn about school then and before in um community life and then and how people used to use for transportation we talked about how people also technology change our world make it different make it update talking and moving talk about communication and then we went to second lesson special holidays we talked about um president's day cinco de mayo de mayo memorial day um veterans day thanksgiving then we talked about also important people that did some changes in our world american heroes and we talked about um abraham lincoln and why we called him the honest abe we also talked about um franklin roosevelt and we knew that he was the only president that were elected was elected uh, four times. We talked about Harriet Tubman and other people that tried to end slavery, uh, slavery and uh, worked hard for the sake of others. They saw courage, braveness, responsibility, and these new words we learned. We talked about sharing stories and why it's important to share stories. What do we learn from stories? We used the word tall tale, exaggerate, fable, fiction, and nonfiction. And we practice uh, using these words and the meaning for these words. We learn also about that um, some stories that you need to, when we read the stories, we learn lessons uh, that help us to understand our lives and deal with other people. All right. So that's our. Um, end of this unit, unit one, and this is a fun activity that you will do it uh, whenever you have time. And as I said, these are the words you're going to use, so you don't need to look for other words. These are the words, and you have to make sure that each word written, each letter written in, in different box, so this is how you play with it. Across and down. All right. The big idea. This is a big idea project. This is a project, um, if you want to do it, that would be great. And you can take your time. You don't need to upload it right away. You can take like a couple of weeks to finish this. This idea project. Let's read together. You are going to create a poster to place in a classroom museum. 
Okay, read the list below to see what you should include on your poster. So this is like a little idea of what your poster will look like. So you have like a big piece of paper and then you're gonna use pictures or you're gonna draw pictures and um, you're gonna talk about um, one of these points that they give you. So your poster, when they give you these points, they help you like guideline for you to know what you what will help you to choose a, um, the object and the subject you will talk about and what kind of object you could use to create and make your own poster. Okay, so over here, the example you have home life. So this is all picture about things happen in the old days or life long ago. And as you see, this is life long ago. It's different from life today. Long ago, there was a milkman who would leave milk at your door. Some things are still the same. We still watch TV and cook our meals. So in this poster or this example, they use picture probably from old magazines or print out from the computer and they uh, cut them and they glue them. And then you put some information and um, details about the picture you chose. So over here, you can do this like family life or you can do about school, community life or work. And all this, if you need more help, you can go back to your lesson and look for these ideas so you can get some ideas. Shows picture or articles from long ago. So you can easily, if you have book at home, you can do that. Or if you want to Google through the internet and you get something, you can do that. Then you need to see, is it colorful and interesting? So as I say, if it's hard for you to, to print out something because you don't have a printer or something, no problem. Just look at the picture and draw. Something could help you, like community. In the old days, people used to go uh, for communication or they used to send um, letters or telegrams, but now people send emails because we have computer. Or transportation. People in the old days used to use carriage, horses. But now people can use uh, fast cars or train or even airplane. So you can choose the object, uh, the subject that you like and that uh, whatever available um, um, tools you have so if you have way to all books or magazine that you can cut and glue or you can even draw so make sure it's colorful and you have some information related to your choice and then last thing include sentence describing how life has changed over time of course it depends on your choice up there for number one all right so this should be really really fun and this is another way like revision to make sure that you understood the changes that happen uh, in our life, comparing with long ago and now. All right, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you, bye-bye.